Yeah, uh, for the few, first few weeks of the pre-season, I think it was all just getting back and, you know, that first half a week uh, it was all about just getting a bit of screening, medical screening, testing under the belt and see where they are. Obviously, we expected the boys to have a decent rest and so we don't uh, expect them in tip-top condition. Uh, and then the last week and so we're just starting to build up again, you know, getting the bodies moving, getting some um, running into that but uh, very uh, low key at the moment because I think it's important that we build them up and don't you know go too hard on the, in the in the first part so I think it's more about you know the, uh, from a medical point of view and from a strength point of view make sure that um, you know everything that went um, for the five or six weeks that they had uh, off time um, but off the boil getting that body as uh, strong as possible bef before we start with the hard work Hopefully we'll lay a good foundation um, to build the house on. Uh, you know, the, the, the season is going to be massive. It's going to be relentless without, uh, you know, not a lot of off time. So once we start, you know, your body has to be able to handle that. And that's part of this pre-season is to get the balance right between pushing them hard at some stage. You know, obviously, like I said, as the weeks progress, we'll, we'll build, uh, go harder and harder, but also to get every uh, individual, you know, as, as strong as what they can be. And that this is where we've got the time to put into those little uh, areas of, of, of your body that you can improve to, we call it bulletproof for the season that lies ahead. Not flat out, walk in touch. Walk in touch. Okay, only rules are if, if you touch me, okay, you've just got to throw it straight away. Someone's got to be there. If it touches the floor, it's a turnover, okay? Always get someone in behind support play. Let's go. Walk in touch. There's always one, there's always one who breaks the rules. No rules are explained though, mate. <laughs> So there, boys, when we're passing, okay, when we're passing, we're choosing when we want to pass, okay? Sometimes that happens in the game, sometimes it don't. So what I want to happen now is for us to receive an external cue, okay? So I'm going to be walking, you're going to clap. As soon as I hear the clap, I'll make the pass, okay? So you don't know what foot you're going to pass off. If you hear the clap, ball out your hands, still focusing on the same quality of pass, okay? So like when you're in there, the best guys are really comfy on it. As opposed to really, really aggressive, and then you, you, you fall and you come off balance, yeah? Yeah. So you've got five points. Every time the ball touches the chest, okay, or you, you drift on the pass, the pass is too hard, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera, as a, you just get taken a point off. Hopefully you walk away with five, you could walk away with zero, so. Just you're gonna catch, get out to the green, pull on that forty-five. Just feed, feed it back, feed it back, feed it back to Matt. He'll feed it back in. Okay, ready? Yeah, pull it back. Good. No forward passes. Run past the feeder. Go past me, Chaz. Go past me. Good. Doesn't matter. You just adapt, boys. You'll adapt. Oh, you're walking over five here, boys. Five all day long. Good. Hands up. Early catch. Get your hands up. Give him a target. Hands up. Hands up. Nice, Chase. Good. Pull it back, Niter. Oh, Niter almost. 30 seconds to go. You got five points. Easy, easy. Nice speech, Chaz. Lovely, Fraser. Control, control. I want a 45, Chaz. 45. 15 seconds. Let's go. Who's it gonna be? 45. No one. It's gonna be no one. Yes, Sam. Pull it back, Sam. There and back. There and back. Oh, oh. 
Oh, almost forward that one. <laughs> Put it back. Okay, good work, boys. Five points. Well done. Loud glass, loud throwing glass. Two, one, glass! glass.